you won't capture my soul. Welcome to another virtual DJ tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Automix Live Pad. This pad can do a lot of things, but its main purpose is to make transitions for you. That means you can spend less time worrying about transitions and more time focusing on the crowd. Too many, too many, many, all I got. They could last me the next two weeks. Uh, huh. Arr. How can I be homophobic? My is gay. Hitman in a top. Let's take a look at the Automix Live features and how to use them. First things first, to get the Automix Live pad, you'll need to head over to your extensions and search for Automix Live in the pad section. Once the pad is installed, you can load it up from the pad drop-down. If you prefer to have access to multiple pads at the same time, you can change the layout and replace any of the pads by right-clicking on it. I personally prefer this because I can have easy access to my hot cues and stems. The Automix pad comes with 8 buttons, each serving a specific purpose. We have the search button which easily takes you to the search bar. The focus button which switches between folder navigation, song navigation, and Automix playlist navigation. This is perfect for those who prefer not to use a mouse. The file add button adds the selected song to the Automix playlist, and the folder add button adds entire folders to the Automix playlist. These are just the basics. What makes Automix Live truly exciting is the next set of buttons, starting with the Mix Now button. This button allows you to initiate transitions on the fly or at the current position of a song. We'll get into this later in the video. Next, we have the No Sync Mix button, which is similar to Mix Now, only difference is, it doesn't sync the BPM. This is very useful when transitioning between songs with significant BPM differences. Moving on, we have the Mix Selected button. In a previous video about the Automix feature, I showed you how to create an Automix playlist. Now, when the Automix playlist is playing, using the Mix Selected button initiates a transition into the currently selected song, without the need of adding the song to the playlist or dragging it to the deck. Oh, baby, I don't wanna know. The Mix Selected button doesn't provide time to test your transition, so be cautious when using it. The final button cycles through different transition types, such as Skip Silence, which initiates the transition after the silent bits of a song, Full Song, which initiates the transition towards the end of the song, No Mix, which cuts the song abruptly, Radio, which leaves a bit of silence between songs so the radio DJ can commentate, Smart Transition, which picks the transition points for you, and Force Fade, which initiates a fade-out transition. Now that you know what each button does, let's take a step back and focus on the Mix Now button. This button can be used when you're mixing normally, or when you're auto-mixing, and it works differently in both cases. When you're mixing normally, pressing the Mix Now button smoothly moves the crossfader between decks and syncs the songs, provided the BPM difference isn't too large. The most effective way of using this button is to use cue points. The cue point you set will decide where the second song will start from, instead of starting from the beginning. Now let's explore how this pad works when auto-mixing. I already made a whole video about the Automix feature, so I won't repeat everything, but I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you'd like to watch it. So basically, what the Automix feature does is allow you to create a playlist that Virtual DJ will then mix for you automatically. When the Automix playlist is active, pressing Mix Now will still initiate a transition on the spot, but it will transition to the second song in the Automix playlist, unlike in regular mode where it transitions to the song you load in the opposite deck. Moreover, in Automix mode, you can customize the transition type using the transition button, and even set the transition duration using the options available in this tiny section. If you prefer using your keyboard to activate the Mix Now feature, you can customize your mapping under Settings. Now pick your preferred key and write Pad 3 under the Action section, this is because it's the third button in the pad. If you wish to map a different button, replace the 3 with the button's number. It's important to note that this custom mapping will work according to the loaded pad. This means that if you have something like the stems pad loaded, then pressing the key you mapped will activate the fourth button on the stems pad. Before our next video, take a look at our Virtual DJ 2023 playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks.